we are loving so many men. So, bread, meal, what? B M W. Easy to remember. All solids to the left. All liquids to the right. Right? Simple. I know in Indian food we normally have liquids to our left and uh, solids like protein on our right, right? But that is that is out of the ingredients that we are doing it because we eat to the right hand, the right hand gets soiled and then it is easier to pick a left drink from our uh, left hand. Now, in this in globalizing your fine dining, your hands never get soiled. So which is why it's perfectly your right to have your bread and a separate egg in your meal and your drink on your right. Now when you are starting off with fine dining as a meal, the first thing of course begins with you seating yourself at the table. The ideal way to seat yourself would be to approach the chair from the left hand side, pull out your chair and seat yourself. Sorry, <laughs> I am a little imbalanced right now, knowing my position. You seat yourself. Now you will go on the left. Simple to the right, solid the left. And you open the mouth and mouth and your lap. You realize I'm not opening the napkin all the way. I'm letting one fold be. Right? So this fold is supposed to be towards your body. And there are two panels to this napkin. The whole here is the size of the napkin. It's like this line of the napkin. It will cause the lower one to be there to protect you. Your clothes do not get dirty. Similarly, you have to wipe your fingers. Just wipe it in the top surface and again your clothes are protected. Right? Now the serviette also is called, or the cloth napkin, the serviette. These never come up. And I can mention this situation that they do come up, which is why the gentleman every time to clean is not to put the table. So no, there are situations when the serviette does come up. When you want to clean them up, right? So you tap, you don't rub. And not you start to clean up, all of this thing must come out of this. No. <laughs> this is literally just for dabbing. Yes, this is also a very good half piece of pie. What is a half piece of pie? You, you eat with a piece of chicken. Or, and the bowl is still left in your mouth. Or you have eaten something like biryani. Which gentleman will give this lady in your chair? How so is this? Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Now, you accidentally got a bowl in your mouth. And uh, all you need is the big light that's going to come out. You want to get rid of it. So, you can use the camera. You can get it from here without getting very noisy. And it goes back to here. This is called half of the light. Right? You do that. Now, you've got. Uh, so, this is the second one. The second comes up a second time only to indicate to the waiter that you are done eating. Literally, after all sorts of that. Not in the center, not on the diet, nowhere else, it will go on the left hand side. Now, sparkling wine is in champagne. Champagne is particularly the sparkling wine that is grown in a particular village of France that is called champagne. So, every sparkling wine is not champagne, but champagne is sparkling right? Why is champagne called champagne? Or why is only the Oxford name called every day? Am I wrong? Am I right? Like you are officially not allowed to call it as an MBA or PGDDF, right? Only Harvard or Oxford have the right to call themselves MBA. I know we get away with it. But that's true, right? So similarly, all champagne is partly by the not vice versa. Now, they have no laws and regulations for which there's a government body sitting there to see at what time it was a great when did it try to tell us this wine or how was it placed, how much cheese was put in it, what was the temperature control? There's a lot of laws and rules regulating it. Not every village covers those laws, which is why they don't get to call this passing wine champagne. Okay? They don't pass a test. So now why is sparkling wine served in this glass? Because it was poured inside, the, it's very beautiful to look at the bubbles going from the base to the top. It's much prettier, it's not like spherical. It's very pretty to look at, it's very golden in color. So it's about wine appreciation. So this is why a flute. Then next in the succession comes the white spice. So your uh, sparkling wine may have been served in a scarlet, and then your white wine may be served in a white meat that could have been in your appetite. Okay? So your white, 
the white wine, it gets something like this. White meat, white wine, red meat, red wine. Red wine. Red wine. White meat is anything two legged or in water. Red meat is anything four legged. Thank you, there's nothing three legged. So, this is white wine. This is for rose. Rose is pink in color. Alright, so this is pink wine or rose wine. And this is for red wine. Do you see the difference? This is a much bigger base, right? Like beans are brought in the base. So is the red wine glass brought in the base. Alright? Now a red wine glass is actually this way so that you can aerate the wine. The science behind red wine is it needs to aerate the oxidative the most because then only the flavors and aromas you have in the wine. Okay? You'll also have to see a lot of wine cultures that like dogs they're supposed to be in the wines, right? That's actually because they're enjoying the aroma. It may look very snobbish to you, but there is a little bit of the science behind it which is too elaborate right now. And you can keep doing this to it all right. It's getting oxidated because it's touching a lot of surface area. You could even put it on the table and keep doing this. Wow. And that's what the doctor really likes. So this is wine spinner and this is the dessert. So this is a dessert wine which gets served with your dessert. It's sweet, also it's served in lesser quantity. It has a maximum number of alcohol, amount of alcohol in there, but 20%. Alright? So if you have a full bottle of dessert wine, you'll be going out of the wine. Thank you. 